Hello, this is the Trade Site Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 20th of August, 2019. Hope you had a good trading day on Monday. Really wasn't much to be done. The futures gave us some nice gains early, but the stock side was fairly dull. We gapped up big in the markets, made it a brief attempt to pull back, went a little higher, and then, but most of the day was very flat and contained in that opening hour range. Not completely unusual for the first day of a new option cycle, certainly not unusual for what that would be in August. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And as you can see, we're still stuck between that 13 sell signal and its risk line and the red static trend line of that move. So that really puts us in no man's land. Let's go through the major daily charts and then we'll look at the intraday action. There's no economic data coming out tomorrow, so we don't need to worry about that. Crude oil down 11 cents to 56.10, so holding low for summertime. Gold down $4.70, but still very much. Near the highs, S&P cash up 34.97, but as you'll see in the intraday chart, most of it was a gap up. The NASDAQ 100 up 115. You can see it here. I mean, almost the whole thing was a gap up. It really wasn't much to that candle, so there's no chance to trade that nice 115-point gain again. SOX uh, up 27.74. I should point out on both the NASDAQ and the SOX, now if you gap down tomorrow enough, you're going to leave floating islands above the last two weeks of trading, which is not a positive. Biotech's up 37.99, uh, doesn't really do anything. Biotech's have been very narrow contained since January, really horrible action there. Uh, the Russell 2000 up 15.21, the VIX down 1.59, uh, taking it back to 16.8. The trend uh, closes at 0 0.88 to 0.87, sorry, puts the 10 day moving average at 1.42. NASDAQ volume 1.9 billion shares. And by the way, so another up day, part of, big piece of it was the gap obviously, but it's the lowest volume day of the last month. So we talk about this all the time. The up days are very light volume and the down days are heavy volume. And that is not good. That means there's more net selling going on than net buying. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 13.28. Some more stocks up than down, although not as big as a couple days. Advanced decline ratio on the New York plus 14.39. Google gains $21.23. Again, mostly on a gap. Apple up 385 right up against that risk line. Netflix up 6.58. Amazon up 23.55, but that's still hanging in the lows in the last two or three months. Tesla up 6.89. Facebook up $2.47. Goldman Sachs gains 2.78. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, down $2.09. The Dow is up 250. All right, if we look at the intraday action, here's the ES. And as you can see, you get the gap up. You try to drift lower. You try to drift higher. But really, overall, it was just flat except for the gap. NASDAQ side, not much difference. Most of the first hour covered the range of the day, and that's it. There's nothing else to look at except for the gaps are below, and uh, we need some action in the market now that options are reset. And we're going to head into, remember, we got the rest of this week and next week. Then we have the Labor Day holiday. And then we go from there. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.